So I'm not gonna lie, I have been waiting for this tour. I've been waiting to take you guys to this Dallas suburb. This week, we are touring one of the most popular Dallas suburbs of them all. It's received quite a lot of press over the past couple years, and it's now home to the PGA headquarters, which I am standing in front of now. So this week, we're touring Frisco. and I make videos just like this one giving you the inside scoop on all of the popular Dallas neighborhoods and Dallas suburbs. And this week we are talking all about Frisco. Frisco is one of the hottest Dallas suburbs and it's the one with the most growth over the past couple years. And if you ask any Frisco local who's been here for quite a long time, they'll tell you that this used to be a place of just farmland. There was no developments, there was not a lot of housing out here, and now it is the center of North Dallas. And I've heard a couple people joke about it. They think that DFW is eventually going to be DFFW, Dallas, Frisco, Fort Worth, and I'm behind it. I definitely think that it could happen. Now, if you've ever wondered where Frisco got its name, and if you've ever wondered if there's any correlation between Frisco and San Francisco, there is. So way back in 1902, before Frisco was Frisco, the St. Louis San Francisco Railway decided to make a stop in the town called Lebanon. Now the residents and businesses that were located in Lebanon decided to move to a new town four miles west called Emerson. And some of the homes that were originally in Lebanon were actually rolled on logs over to the new town of Emerson. The name Emerson was rejected by the U.S. Postal Service because there was a town somewhere in Texas that was somewhat similar. So the residents came up with the name Frisco City after the St. Louis San Francisco Railway that brought them there. The current red Frisco logo, if you may have noticed, kind of looks similar to a railroad sign and that was no coincidence. That was made like that to nod to the history and heritage of the original Frisco City. So on the map, Frisco is located north of Dallas. You have the Dallas North Tollway that runs through somewhat of the middle of Frisco. You've got McKinney to the east, you have Plano to the east and south. To the west, you've got Little Elm, and to the north, you have Prosper and Salina. The population of Frisco for 2023 is estimated to be right around 228,000 people. The median household income here is about 134,000 and the tax rate is about 0.4466. So why so much growth in the past couple decades? Well, Frisco ranks as one of the number one spots to live, play, work, and innovate here in Texas and in the entire United States. With so many top tier job opportunities paired with excellent housing, schools, amenities, it's no surprise why so many companies are relocating to the city. This is a huge hub for employers down here. You've got some of the top names like the Hartford, PGA of America is a new headquarters that everyone here is super excited about. You have T-Mobile, Home Depot, and maybe a couple that you don't know, but here is a list of all of the headquarters that call Frisco home. So the Frisco Economic Development Corporation is on the ball. They are constantly looking for more headquarters to relocate to the city. has one of the best school rankings in all of the state, which is another reason why so many headquarters and people are relocating to the city of Frisco. So for the 2023 school year, there are about 67 public schools serving over 60,000 students here in Frisco, and there are 21 private schools serving a little over 5,500 
private students. One of the things that you need to know here about Frisco schools and all of DFW schools really, so your house location dictates the zone of the school that you're gonna be in. Now for private school, you can go anywhere your heart desires, but for public school, your house is really gonna be zoned for the school that you're wanting to attend. For example, depending on where you are in Frisco, will dictate where your kids are gonna go to school. So if you are on the far west side of Frisco, your kids may not be zoned for Frisco ISD, but rather would be zoned for Louisville ISD. If you are really high up in the north of Frisco, rather than being zoned to Frisco ISD, your kids could be zoned to Prosper ISD. So just something to keep in mind, especially if schools are important to you, this is something you wanna look at on the front end when you're coming down here to purchase a property. You wanna look for the ISD that the home is gonna be located in. Another really great resource that I use for school rankings is greatschools.org. Whenever my clients look at a property and they like it, before we even go see it, I look at greatschools.org and see what the school rankings are. Because if you're looking for an investment property, if you're looking for you know, just yourself with your kids, schools do play a role in the resale value of a house, which is something you want to pay attention to when you're buying. On the flip side, if you don't have any kids, you're planning to be in this home for quite some time, schools may not matter as much, and that is totally okay. So since we're talking about housing, let's talk about the average price point in Frisco because Frisco has grown dramatically over the past couple years. And since 2020, the price point here has jumped quite a bit. So as far as the price range in Frisco, I would say you could see something right below 400,000. And an example of that would be something like this. So this house here is three bed, two bath, a little over 1700 square feet. And it's cute, it's not terribly dated. And this property is located on the outskirts of Frisco. So I definitely would not say that this is very close to all the amenities. If you can see here, this is Dallas North Tollway. So it's a little bit out here. It's probably closer to Little Elm. Um, it's definitely not in Frisco ISD. So that does contribute to the overall value of the property. And then on the flip side, you could see something as high as 5.7 million. This is located in the Hills of Kingswood neighborhood here in Frisco. And just to give you an idea of where that is, so this is the Dallas North Tollway, so you're a little bit off here, and this whole neighborhood right here is the Hills of Kingswood. A really popular luxury neighborhood here in uh, Frisco. Five bed, five full bathrooms, and two half baths. You're a little under 8,000 square feet. I would say a majority of your properties here in Frisco though are gonna probably be between that 600K mark and 800K mark. I feel like for Frisco, that's probably the sweet spot. But you can find something lower if you're willing to go towards the outskirts of Frisco and maybe not get Frisco ISD. Now the types of homes here in Frisco, and one of the big things that Frisco has is master plan communities. Now a master plan community is something that a developer will do and they will develop a neighborhood with the amenities in mind. They will develop the homes, but they'll also develop a clubhouse, community pool, playgrounds, walking trails, and there are so many master plan communities here in Frisco, which is another reason why so many people want to live here. Now let's get into a couple things to do around Frisco. So a really popular spot is the Star. So the Star is a 91 acre campus, including the Ford Center, which is shared with the Dallas Cowboys and Frisco ISD. And this is a really cool partnership that the Star has made. Students in Frisco ISD that play sports can practice alongside where the Cowboys practice here at the Star. A couple notable restaurants within the Star, you've got Ascension Coffee, which is my personal favorite. Another one is the Glen and Monarch. These are beautiful restaurants and I would highly recommend you go check them out. Get some Instagram photos, they're super cute. If you go to the Star, hop on Dallas North Tollway, I think it's the next exit I want to say, and you will arrive at Legacy West. Technically, it's in Plano's, but you've got to check it out if you're by the Star because it's just too close not to go and see. Now, one of the newest developments here in Frisco that everybody has been talking about is PGA. Now the PGA headquarters recently relocated to Frisco and beside the campus, they have the Omni Resort. They've got the shops around the PGA Resort. If you wanna go up there, sunset is a beautiful time to go. So at PGA Frisco, you've got shopping, dining, of course, golf, and you also have the Omni Resort. 
The Omni Resort has 500 guest rooms and suites and 10 exclusive ranch houses that sit right at the edge of the golf course. So Ice House is another popular spot that overlooks the Greenway. It's right beside where they host the Friday Night Movie series and it actually has six hitting bays that you can reserve. Another new development that you absolutely have to check out in Frisco is the new public Frisco library. It is absolutely beautiful. It's over 158,000 square feet, which is about three times as big as the original Frisco library. They have a little bit of something for everybody. You've got a tiny town for the kids, so there's interactive little playstations for them. And then you also have quiet study rooms, access to computers. Of course, you have books. It's a beautiful place to just go and sit and work for the day. And of course, a great place to take the kiddos. So with all the things to do, the economic growth, the high school ratings, the housing market, what is not to like about Frisco? Well, I'll tell you three things that residents have personally told me that they don't like about Frisco. Number one is the growth. While growth is a great thing, it also can bring a lot more people and a lot more traffic to the area. Another con about Frisco is Frisco feels a little bit more commercial. So McKinney, Plano, Allen may have kind of like that small town feel and Frisco does really feel like more of a bigger city. And then the third thing that I would say residents have complained about is the housing prices. So buyers looking to get into Frisco, it is a little bit higher of a price point than some of the nearby suburbs. On the flip side to that, homeowners have also felt the pressure of appreciation. Now, while appreciation is really important for properties, it can also cause your property taxes to go up. And that's one thing that we've heard from a lot of Frisco residents is property taxes have gone up because the appreciation of properties has gone up so much in the past couple years. I would say if you're looking to get out of a big metro like Dallas and you wanna live in the suburbs, but you don't want you know the sleepy suburbs, you wanna be near the action, I would say Frisco could be a great option for you. And let's be honest, Frisco is only about 20, 25 minutes to Dallas. So given the day, given the traffic, you can scoot down to Dallas pretty easily and check out the restaurants, do the shopping at North Park, go to Zara, guilty as charged. So all in all, Frisco is definitely one of my favorite suburbs. Well, that wraps everything up for me and our tour of Frisco. I hope this was helpful. And like I said, my name is Brielle. I am a realtor here in DFW. So if you're looking to move to Frisco or just want some more information about maybe the nearby suburbs around Frisco, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you. And I will see you on the next video.